Hey guys, it's me, Bad Grisham. Today I'm going to show you a $500 gaming PC build for April 2014. Whether it's for a holiday gift or just a personal build, this is going to be the best possible starter PC build that you can make. And it'll let you at least play every game you throw at it, assuming you lower the settings to medium for some of the newer games like Battlefield 4 and Titanfall. Some of the older and less resource heavy games like Skyrim, South Park The Stick of Truth, and DayZ should be able to kept on high settings with no issues. Any older games can run maxed out with the system. So this is mainly just to be an entry level build, so the specs won't blow you away. But this PC is upgradable, so you can always add on to the system later. The graphics card in the system should last a bit before you really need an upgrade. So that being said, let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the AMD Anthelon X4 750K. It's a quad core processor clocked at 3.4 GHz, and it's a K-series processor, which means it's able to be overclocked to well over 4 GHz if you have an aftermarket cooler. If you don't plan on overclocking, it's still perfectly fine at stock settings, but if you do want to pay a little bit extra for an aftermarket cooler to pump up your speeds, I'll leave a link in the description. The Anthelon X4 750K will run you about $90. For a motherboard, I chose the MSI A88X G43. This is a pretty great motherboard for this build, mainly because it has extra RAM slots for upgrades in the future, two USB 3 ports, as well as four USB 2 ports. It even comes with an HDMI port in case your graphics card is having issues. It's overall a solid motherboard with a bunch of little extras for only $80. For the graphics card I chose the Gigabyte Radeon R7 260X. With AMD's release of the R9 series, I thought it was a great addition for a graphics card that's under $200. Now the price of these cards originally skyrocketed due to their use in Bitcoin mining rigs, but the prices have now fallen back to normal and I can get on to recommending them again. It's a great card and it plays pretty much any game at high settings and the newer games like Titanfall will be able to run at medium to high settings at a good resolution. This card is also a good addition to any build and it'll run you about $140. Memory is rather simple so I went with a 4GB stick of Crucial Ballistic Sports DDR3 RAM. It's rated at 1600MHz and it's a 4GB stick which is plenty for your games and a small bit of multitasking. If you ever want to add more RAM in the future, you can just by popping in another 4GB stick in the motherboard. RAM prices are constantly fluctuating, so as of right now you can get this 4GB stick for around $40. For a hard drive, I'm going with a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. A terabyte is plenty of space for your games, movies, music, pictures, and it should be a good fit for all your storage needs. Now you can choose to go with the 500GB Caviar Blue if you want a little bit cheaper for a build, and you want a little bit extra money toward your graphics card, but a terabyte of storage is really optimal to store all your media. It's your build, so pick whatever you want, but if you want to play a bunch of games, 500GB will fill up really quickly. The Caviar Blue comes in around $60. Up next is the power supply, which is the most important part of any build, mainly because you need power on your system. Always remember to never be cheap with your power supply because it runs everything, and you definitely don't want your PC to catch on fire, so make sure you pick a good quality supply over a sale price. My recommendation is the Corsair Builder 430 Watt Power Supply. 430 watts is plenty for this build, and it can also be used to upgrade your build in the future. It's also 80 plus bronze certified, which means it's a high quality power supply, and it can actually help you lower your power bill. You can get this for around $40. Any and all optical drives in this PC are really irrelevant unless you want a Blu-ray drive, and unless you use CDs for older games or music, the only thing you're using it for is to install the OS. I just went with a cheap reliable reader and burner, which is a light-on. It's just a simple and basic drive, and it only runs you about $17. Now finally is the case, and as always, this is where personal opinion or general cheapness comes in. And a case can be what you show off to everybody, or you just put it under your desk and forget about it. To keep this build at a $50 case budget, but still have a couple extras, I went the NZXT M59 1BK. To me this is like an upgraded version of the Gamma Classic case that's also made by NZXT. This case is a good quality case with an interesting style and it holds everything together really well. It also has some pretty good airflow because it comes with two 120mm fans. One of which also has a blue LED which is great if you want to look into lighting. This case also comes with a window on the side so if you want to show it off to people you can. Once again this is just my recommendation and if you want to get a cheaper case or a more expensive case it's up to you. Find the case that fits your needs and in the best way possible. But if you want a reliable case I can personally recommend this case and you can get this for around $50. Well there you go guys, this is a great $500 PC build that you can constantly upgrade in the future. Now the price of these components change often, and believe me, they will. So I'll be leaving a link in the description to PCPartPicker.com. It's a website that you can make your build online, and you can also see the lowest prices for the components that you need. That's it guys, so if you like this video and you want to see some more of them, click on the like button. I'll have two other builds available, one for a $750 PC and one for a $1000 PC. Click on the links in the video if you want to see some more of them, and if you enjoy my videos, you can click here to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out, and it really shows me that you want to see some more of my builds and some of my other videos. Hope to see you guys in my next video.